I've heard, obviously, most of you guys know that the Apple event happened recently where they announced the release of the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max and also the regular iPhone 14. But one of the things that really kind of caught my attention was the Apple Watch Ultra, which is essentially a Apple Watch geared towards people who, you know, do loads of outdoor activities, whether it be mountaineering, hiking, running, cross country, you know, um, what do you call it, hanging out in the snow, swimming, whatever it may be, right? But it's mostly um, gauged around those kind of people and tracking all those kind of movements. And for me, I've always been kind of on the fence with Apple Watches, mostly because a lot of them at the time, when remember the first couple of ones that released, they didn't actually have any, um, what you call it? They didn't have any GPS on it. So you had to basically have your phone on you to have GPS activated. But I think the latest ones nowadays have GPS already built into the phone, already built into, sorry, to the smartwatch. So you can effectively just go out with your smartwatch and stream music off of it without having your phone on you. So you can kind of disconnect a little bit because, you know, the reason why you'd want an Apple Watch, I think in my regard, for, especially for me, would be so I don't have any distractions when I'm working out or when I'm out going for a run or whatnot. You just want to kind of be um, untethered from your iPhone for a little bit and just, you know, immerse yourself in whatever physical activity you're doing. So to see them go so super hard on this flipping uh, Apple Ultra makes me believe that they're suddenly maybe finally trying to pivot into kind of a, appealing to that market of people because I feel like that market of people will be willing to buy these watches for whatever price they, they pay because they usually pay quite high for crazy other GPS watches that they use. So this is an article courtesy from Verge, which is a review of the Apple um, Ultra Watch. It says it's an aspirational debut. Uh, it starts off as follows. The Apple Watch Ultra is big, a little chunky, and goes hard on features that average um, Joe wouldn't need in everyday life. And at $799, it's steep, don't get me wrong. So the fact that I'm considering it is insane. And only Apple could do this, right? Only Apple could maybe consider buying a flipping £800 smartwatch. I don't even own a regular watch, but I'm willing to pay £800 for a smartwatch. Absolutely insane. And I think if you add a couple more thousand onto that, you could probably get yourself a Rolex, right? Mad. Maybe even a second-hand one. Absolutely crazy. It continues. The Apple da -da -da, is the most expensive watch in the current Apple lineup, Hermes edition ex excluded. After a week of testing, I don't think it's going to bump Garmin Polar or Chorus watches for the Ironman, Tro Hiker or Deep Sea Diving crowds, at least not yet. But it's legitimately good for weekend warriors and intermediate athletes and very tempting for folks who aspire to that status as a whole. A lot of people who just want the biggest bad Apple watch they can get. And this is the genius part of Apple's, you know, positioning and brand marketing and communication. This is who, this is who they were always talking to anyway. The Apple Watches were always, in general, especially the sport ones, were always mostly, I thought, geared towards weekend warriors and intermediate athletes, especially people like myself, right? I'll describe myself as, you know, falling underneath those two categories. Obviously, you aspire to be a Ironman, cross-country, deep-sea diving person, but for the most part... You are doing these things before you go to work, after you finish work, on the weekends when you're free. So you're not exactly doing it on a professional schedule and you're not obviously doing it to the highest level and you're not competing against some of the best athletes. You're just doing it to keep yourself fit and to keep pushing yourself and to see how far you can go. And clearly that's something that I enjoy too. So if Apple can you know, service that market, they can absolutely dominate and kill. Um, it continues. First attempts at the new form factors are a mixed bag, promising features with a dash of annoying emissions or kinks that will get worked out down the line. This is true of Ultra, but Apple proved this a uh, at least a done its homework by adding the action button beefing up durability including multi-band gps and improving battery life to the point where you don't have to charge it daily um it falls short of the garmin loyalists but i do think it's enough to make a few of them curious which is pretty decent a seven out of ten for their first try on this watch because usually you know um apple is known for iteration so of each model they basically tinker and t and tweak things to get it just right and by the end you're usually going to get the perfect rendition of it for instance you know the iphone 14 is probably going to be the best version of an iphone because they're kind of slowly but surely improved features improved form factor and made it better as it goes along and i think the same thing will happen with the ultra so maybe a few ultra watches down the line you'll have a really really um robust and cleverly put together um a smart watch that will appeal to a lot of people um so this is here the good the good um, quickly, the good of Curse of the Verge is that it's a comfortable for its size, the best battery life for any Apple Watch. It's a comprehensive safety features. It has an action button. The big screen is good for readability. It's got improved durability, and all models come with cellular, which is absolutely incredible. The bad, it lacks recovery metrics, no offline maps or turn-by-turn -turn navigation, 
which you know i guess more aspirational than hardcore true and size may be too big for every very petite wrist yeah it does it does look absolutely massive i'm not going to lie it looks like an absolute chunk of fun it looks like the kind of watches that i'd see my african uncles who i go who, who i sit next to at the barbers wearing or who you know you see kind of you know outside a certain station perusing around waiting for their date to come and link them now with these massive watches and really shiny blazers and really pointy painting shoes and shit so this kind of looks like that but I'm, I'm a big fan of it regardless you know especially um if i'm able to kind of use it when i go to my everyday runs and do all my little kind of excessive um you know activities going forward but like i said before only apple can make me consider buying a 700 or so 800 dollar watch that's this fucking big looks absolutely chunky on this lady's wrist i think it's a lady because it's got an engagement ring on um it looks absolutely wild man but hey regardless i'm a big fan of it love the design of it um love how it looks love the bright action button there on the side with that kind of set bright safety orange kind of reminds me a little bit of hair and preston which is funny because you know safety orange is kind of like a general universal color but for it to be associated with one designer obviously speaks to how good he's done in terms of getting his brand across out there but in general i do like the look of it i'm not going to lie i definitely love the look of it i don't like the look of it in terms of using it as a all day everyday kind of you know smartphone you know replacement thing i'd want to use it as a watch so i'm not going to be texting anybody or anything like that but i do like it i wonder what this massive gold ring this person's got on is that a wedding ring or is that just another smart ring that looks mad isn't it? it looks very cultish isn't it? that ring that person's got on their right hand there on the picture if anybody knows what that ring is let me know it looks fucking huge maybe it's just some jewelry oh didn't clean their nails that's a come on man you can't be doing pictures like this and not clean and not getting a pedicure it looks a bit nasty there but hey oh sorry a manicure sorry it looks a bit nasty but hey what do i know that's it in it apple ultra watch is coming at you very soon i can't wait to get mine i'm definitely considering it and hopefully i do hopefully i do